Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the 18th part of this series where we are building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be creating the edit to do view. So let's go to the edit to do template and um, let's get rid of this. Okay, save that. And uh, let's actually go and look at the add to do uh, component template because it'll be very similar. Um, okay, and let's actually grab all this code, right? So let's do control A, control C, and let's go here and paste that in there, all right? Okay, so we've just pasted in all of the add to do, um, all of the markup from the add to do component. And let's just close that for now. Okay, and let's go to the edit to do component template. And let's just um, change some things. So let's change this to edit to do wrapper. Okay, let's change this to um, edit to do like that. And um, let's save that now and let's go back to the application. Okay, and here we can see this. All right, so let's just go to uh, the style sheet for the edit to do uh, component, and let's just do some styles for the edit to do wrapper. So let's do dot edit to do wrapper. First of all, let's set some padding, 35 pixels. Let's save that, go back to the application. All right, so that looks a lot better. And let's actually add some border radius. So let's do border radius uh, five pixels. Save that, go back to the application. Okay, cool. And the next thing we have to do is just make sure that there's a scroll bar on overflow. And there isn't right now, so let's go here and set the max height to 100%. And let's set overflow to auto. Okay, save that and let's go back to the application. And now there's a scroll bar here. Cool. Cool. So let's go back to the component code here. Uh, let's close the style sheet and let's go back to the template. And uh, let's actually go to the component class. And what we want to do now is we want to go and uh, grab the ID of the to do that's in the root parameters. So that one here. Um, so then uh, in this case, it would be uh, this ID here. And then we want to use the ID to um, to um, get the to do object from the service, right? So um, let's first of all inject uh, the uh, root object, and that's the activated root. So do that, and uh, let's go here, and let's now do this dot root dot param map dot subscribe, and here we'll get the param map. Okay, all right, and then here we can do const uh, to do id is equal to param map dot get and then id, and that's because if we go to the routing module, uh, we have um, id as the root parameter here. Okay, so that's what we want to grab. So if we go here and save that, and let's just do an alert, and let's just do uh, to do id. If we save that, go back to the application here. Here we see the ID showing up here. All right, cool. So that's working. If we just get rid of that now, cool. All right. So now let's go to the constructor and let's inject the service. Right, the to do service. So private to do service is of type to do service, and then here we can actually use the to do service to um, retrieve the to do that has this ID here. Right. So first of all, let's just go here and let's create a new property called to do, and that'll be a to do object. All right, and then here we can now do this dot to do is equal to this dot to do service dot get to do and then pass in to do ID. Okay, uh, let's save that now and let's actually go to the uh, template here and we can now use property binding on ng model. Okay, and we can set this equal to to do dot text. Okay, so that um, this input will then have the value. Um, of the existing to do text, right? So if we save this and go back to the application, okay, we still have this alert here. Um, okay, and it's actually, um, okay, let me just reload the page here. Let me go to the console. Okay, and here we see cannot read property text of undefined, right? Okay, and I think that's because uh, this ID um, is uh, invalid because um, as uh, we have reloaded the app quite a few times, all right, so let's actually uh, go to the to-dos 
here and uh, let's uh, clear the console and let's go and click on edit on one of these to do's. All right, so here we can go and click on edit here and there we go, it's actually working, okay? Cool, all right, so um, if we go back to, all right, cool. And if we actually do load the application, we'll then see we get this error again and that's because, um, okay, and that's because there's no to-do that has this ID, right? So then if we go back here and click on the edit button here, we see that it has a different ID and, and that's because we've reloaded the page, right? Okay, and that's fine, right? Because we've reloaded the app, right? So it's actually, um, each time we reload the app, those to-do objects have a different ID. So um, what we can do to prevent that error is just by putting an ng if here, ng if to do, and we can put an error message here, um, ng if not to do, and just say to do not found, okay? Let's save that, go back to the application, and now we see to do not found. Cool, and there's no error there. Let's go to the to do's UI, and let's go here, and let's click on edit here, and we see hey there. Cool, all right, so the next thing we can do is we can actually um, change the text of this to save. So if we go here, we can go to save. Okay, save that, go back to the application, and let's go to the to-dos view here. Let's click on this one. It says, hey, that's good. And now let's try and implement uh, the save functionality, right? So um, at the moment, if we try and say um, updated and click save, then that won't do anything, right? That hasn't updated it. And that's because we actually have to go and implement the on form submit method in the component class. So here, let's do on form submit and it take in the form object and that's what type ng form. Okay. All right, and then inside here, what we can do is we can uh, do this dot to do service dot update to do and pass in uh, this dot to do dot id for the id. And then um, here we have to pass in the updated to do fields. So for this, we can just do form dot value, right? Form dot value. Cool. All right. Um, and now let's save this. Let's go back to the application. Let's go to this one. Let's click on edit. Let's say updated. Let's click save. All right. Okay. And let's go to the to do's view. And it says updated. Great. So it is working. Let's go to this one. And let's change this to uh, this is the first to do. Okay, and I've pressed enter, so that should have submitted the form. Okay, so let's go to the to-dos view, and it now says this is the first to-do. Cool, all right, so that seems to be working pretty well. Let's actually go here, and let's just redirect the user uh, to the to-dos uh, view after they've submitted the form, and the um, and the to-do has been updated, right? So let's go here, and let's actually inject the router. So private router is of type router, okay? And then here, we can now do this, dot router, dot navigate by URL slash to do's. Save that, go back to the application and uh, let's go to this one. Let's update this one. So, hey, this has been updated. Okay, I'm gonna press enter and it submits the form and takes us back to the to do's view and it does look like it's been updated. Cool. All right, so we've actually successfully implemented the edit to do view. Cool. All right then, let's actually go back to the code here. And um, one thing uh, that we'll see is that we actually have an error here uh, because um, if we go to the edit to do uh, component template, uh, here we have an NGF and it's checking what the value of the show validation errors um, property is. However, we don't have that in this component. So what we could do is we could actually create it. We could create it uh, here. And then uh, whenever there's an error, we could then um, set this to true, or we could actually just leave this out. Um, so save this and go back here and just go to the template and get rid of this here. All right, let's just do that. Uh, so if we save that now and go back to the application. All right, let's go here, let's go here and let's try and make this empty. Okay, and now we see the validation error message. Okay, cool, uh, and let's try and click save and it will actually let us submit the form. So that's not so good. So let's go here and let's go to the component class. And what we could do is we, is we could go here and do if form.invalid, then we can just return, all right? So that this code below here won't be executed, all right? 
Cool, let's save that and let's go back to the application. And we can go here. And we now see the error message here. Cool. All right, and let's click save. And it isn't actually submitting the form. Cool, so it's not submitting the form when there's an error. Okay, cool, let's try and enter in one letter. Let's try and click save. Cool, all right, let's try and do TES. Let's click save. And there we go, cool. Let's just go here and change this to testing. One, two, three. Cool, all right, so that's working pretty well. All right then, so, um, cool, all right, so um, I think we can now move on to the bookmarks view, and we can work on um, creating the bookmark service, and then um, implementing the functionality to add and edit bookmarks. So uh, the next thing we can do is we can go and create the bookmark service. Let's go and do that now.